how many of you this is your first Minecon? The sweet Minecon. Oh, it's gonna taste great. It's gonna be great. So Jens, can you tell us a little more about what you're sharing this Minecon? Yes, uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm going to have the pre in my presentation where I will go through the whole new features of the new uh, update of the Java edition. Is there any new console exclusives in this update? Uh, no. Can you add like console exclusives to make the game interesting and people would want to buy the game both every edition? So what you're asking is, will some of the stuff that we do on console come across to Java and PC and vice versa? No, no, I'm, no? As I'm asking if you can add some console exclusive onlys. We run a shit, fuck notch, time is money, golden watch. I'm a crackhead, always cracking rocks, got them golden boots, no socks. Pretty cool. Is this your is this your first Minecon? Uh, this is my second. Bitch. Do you find it hard to compete in a world of gaming where it's mainly male dominated? Well, for one thing, the world of gaming is not nearly as male dominated as people think. Females make up about 48% of gamers and fastly climbing. So, saying that the industry is male-dominated is not exactly accurate anymore. I think, honestly, most of it is just that females don't very often refer to themselves as gamers, so you don't realize how many females are gamers. Because it, it's more of a guy thing to label themselves, whereas girls are just like, it's something I do. Anyone can be a gamer, even if it's like doing a Sudoku on your phone. One thing that I've noticed is that I'm a very shy extrovert. If I was playing virtual reality, this is the first thing I would do. Blow up the whole entire world. We have a map called City of Love. It's a dating simulator. <laughs> um, okay, is this clean enough to do on the yeah, screen? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, going back to the dating simula, simulator, VR. I don't know if I want to do that in VR. <laughs> I, I do. You, you do? I think oh, yeah. that says a lot about you, Riley. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! This is a rave sheet! Dancing sheet! Wow, look at this! Okay, what is the name of this costume? This is a Jeb sheep. A Jeb sheep? Right, I, that makes sense now. All the multicolors. We're giving you the power now to redefine anything in the game. Like, make your own model and then share them anywhere. Put them on your realm, let your friends play with them. It sounds awesome. Yes! 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 Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Yeah! Do you like Harambe? I'm not sure what a Harambe is, so I can't answer that question. I don't watch television or movies ever. I read books. I find that reading books is a great thing. So, um, that's but you live on the internet. So that doesn't mean I know everything that happens on the internet. Does it have to do? Is Harambe a type of game? <laughs> it's not a type of game. Then why do I need to know about it? Yeah, so I've just found this really old, old school uh, indie game called Creepy Castle. Uh, hey, what's so what game are you playing? Uh, it's called Creepy Castle. Um, I was wondering, what's the recommended amount of dead detated wham I should have to serve her? <laughs> Can you repeat for your the question? Percy, your for, for your Percy. Can't hear the we we couldn't hear the question, sorry. Mm -hmm. No. Do, you, do you remember Dungeons and Dragons? This was a little bit out of my time period, but I do remember that like my brothers were quite into that. And then you had like the dungeon master who was the person who yep. created the story, right? And it was like, I wonder how much, I wonder at what point, you know. I don't know, like, you know, you sort of make content all the time and then you know, like 10 million, 12 million right. subs. And, so, but it, <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, What's the kind of like some of the the kind of craziest fans that you've seen? There's another gas just there as well. That's incredible. Are you with this guy or are you dressed up? I'm, I'm dressed up as a, my favorite YouTuber, Keemstar. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get right. Well done. Well done. Uh, oh. Hello. This has to be an ocelot, right? 
Is it not? No, what hold on, it? you have to see the tail. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> it's actually my favorite game character ever. It's Tails. That's so good. I'm Stampy. <laughs> oh, you're Stampy! Oh, yeah. I'm What's double that? wrong! <laughs> this is mine, Connor. Of course it's Stampy. Hello. Notch. Oh, you're dressed as Notch. Amazing. In Minecraft. Do you want to give everybody Notch a wave out in there? Minecraft. Wave hello. There we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead and head on down. The bold cap. I like the, Perfect I like touch. The what is your favorite character? Um, like YouTuber or? What is yours? You got a few on your shirt. So what one? Is it on your shirt? So I want you to make some noise if you have a YouTube channel. Have you guys ever thought about doing YouTube yourselves? Um, well, I used to have a YouTube channel, but I don't really use it anymore. You don't really use it no more. Yes, yeah. but oh. yeah. <laughs> so you don't. Really, you a. You just give up. I want you to subscribe to me. F U Z E I T on YouTube. Thank you, cringe. Bye. <laughs> kind of a question. <laughs> that was no question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unsubbed. You, when I first started out being like, oh, I you know, play video games for a job, I quickly realized that people were like, so you just you don't have a job then? And I was like, oh no, I do. <laughs> I work a lot. How many t shirts did you get? I got, I don't know. You don't know? That's a good number. I, I, I would do the same thing. I would like be getting t shirts, I don't know. We don't know what that game is. <laughs> what is it? Hey, hey, what are you playing? It's like a brand new game. Oh! You don't know? It's like a brand new Minecraft is, Minecraft has been that game that pivots it, really, you know, and it brings all the other games. And, you know, we've got the indie gaming section over there as well, and you've got loads of games that we've been looking at too. And we're fascinated, you know, we, we as, we're, as, we're players and we're parents as well. So, and we're thinking yeah. always constantly about our, our children and about, you know, what, oh, I'm thinking, that's a good idea, you know, that's a really <laughs> nice way of, uh, of how do I teach this or how do I teach that and kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm really proud and thrilled about kind of what Minecraft has done and what we've done with, the, with kind yes. of things as well. The very first preview of our first Minecraft novel. Chapter 1. Panic drowns thought. This world can seem like a maze and sometimes a bully. New York Times bestseller of World War Z and Zombie Survival Guide, Mr. Max Brooks. So tell us, why did you want to write a Minecraft novel? Because I love the game, because it's not just a game, because it teaches you how to live. It teaches you courage and patience and that life is a process. And I thought, this is an amazing lesson, not just for the game, but for the rest of your life. Okay, looks like Xbox Live is down, so <laughs> or not working, so typical. <laughs> I was, I built a map for um, teaching Microsoft players how to play Minecraft. Yeah, uh, question, uh, any HDR or graphics stuff with the new PlayStation Pro? All right. Next up from the Walls Tournament is Zachary. Oh wait, we have two. Oh, simultaneous. Are you Steven? No, I'm... I'm You're Zachary? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That's for you there? Here's that. <laughs> Your condo did you win one of the tournaments? Yeah, it's nice. All right, Zachary. Did they? All right, we'll get this to you. Did you know anyone else competing? Uh, well, the thing is, is that I didn't actually win. I'm just a huge fan of Keemstar, and let's get Harambe out there, everyone! Woo! You can take the black bag. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So what was it like when you realized that you won? I was very surprised because it's not very common that I win stuff. Thank you to everyone for joining us on the stream. Thank We're going to go over to the closing ceremony now. We'll see you next year.